Hi folks, in today's video I'm going to talk to you a little bit about safety and particularly how to track site inductions within the Autodesk Build app. So inside here I'm currently in the web platform and the first thing you're looking at when creating a site inductions checklist and form is to go into the forms tab, then into the templates folder and the first thing you'll be looking at is creating the folder whereby the site inductions will reside. So how to do that, you click on the drop down for create and you select create folder. Once you have the folder created, you will then need to select the form. So for the purpose of this video, I already have a form created. And you can see that when I select on that form, I already have the location specified. So every site induction checklist that will be created will reside in that folder structure. So next you're choosing who can fill out the folder or the, the checklist. So inside here, I have myself and then I have a specific company also selected for this. So anyone in the project admin who has been giving the permissions of that company can then in turn help to fill out this form. So also you will see that I have uh, multiple contributors in sequence, which means that I can fill it out first on behalf of myself and then the inductee can come in and sign off his side of it then as well. Who can review it then is based on myself and all of our project admins and is also with the managers as well. So once you have that aspect of it set up, you can then go and create the form. So if I go back into the forms area, and I go back down to the site inductions. When I select on create form, because I have specified that checklist to go into this folder, it prompts me to create that induction form. So when I select on that form, I, as the manager, can start filling out the information based on this inductee. So I'll populate all this information here. And when I have that done, so when I have that done, I will assign it then to the inductee. So as I fill out that information, you can also see that with any of this information, I can choose to attach photos, issues, or add notes with that. But for the purpose of this exercise, I keep it quite simplified. So as I fill this out, then you can see inside here, I could choose to add a location. So where it was specified or created, add a description with that. And if there is any overall photos of the individual or files that I need to attach or forms, other forms that I could include, I could include in the references. But once I'm finished, I can add my signature. And then what I can do is I can assign it to the other inductee. So you can see that I can assign it via the company or that specific member. So I've filled out my behalf. So inside here now, that has now been assigned to the other inductee. So for the purpose of this, I'll take a role as that inductee as well. So I'll just refresh my screen to show you what the inductee can see. So because it's now assigned to him, you see that it populates into his site inductions uh, folder. And he can choose to select into that. He can see all the information that the manager has filled out. So he can see that it's correct. And once he's happy with that, then he can choose to add his own signature. So I'll add that signature. And then what I can do is I can submit that and that will be submitted back to the managers. So back inside here, then if I refresh that, that form will now be changed to submitted, as you can see here. And if I select into it, I can see the signature associated with that inductee. So that's just today's tip. Thank you.